Hi there. In today's tutorial, you will learn how you can create this amazing slide design with a glowing photo effect in PowerPoint. You will learn how to create a modern slide design using a grid, how to create glowing text and glowing buttons, and how to create a glowing photo effect. We'll be using a free Google font called Microma, a nice cyan color, and a beautiful portrait photo from unsplash.com. All of the links are in the video description. Alrighty, I'm ready. Hope you are too. Let's start the interstellar journey. Okay, let's start creating this awesome slide design. And first of all, let's make sure that our slide background has a solid black fill. And by the way, feel free to download today's tutorial slides for absolutely free. All of the information is in the video description. And if you are enjoying this video, please give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos. Thank you so much. And next, let's start creating the slide layout. As you can see the slide layout is made out of little boxes. And to create this kind of layout easily and precisely, we will have to use a grid. Let's go to the selection pane, and let me show you a grid that I have created. It's a grid that is made out of 18 columns and 12 rows. You can of course create any kind of grid that you wish, but I think this one works really well and helps when creating a balanced slide layout. Okay, so now let me show you how you can create this kind of grid yourself. So first of all, let's create 18 columns. And to create a column, let's just insert a rectangle that has the same height as our slide. Don't worry about the exact column width for now. You can style your column any way you wish. And now, we can make this column a bit narrower, we don't need to be super precise yet. And let's just align this column to the left edge of the slide. And let's duplicate it, so that we get a second column. Let's make sure, that we put the second column next to the first one, and let's keep on duplicating columns until we have 18 in total. Let's make sure, that we definitely have 18 columns, and then let's select them all, and group them into one group. Now we can grab the right edge of this column group, and drag it to the right side, until it touches the right edge of the slide. Well done, now our columns have a perfect width. You can rename your column group, in the selection pane, and give it a more meaningful name, for example, columns 18. Awesome, now in the same way let's create 12 rows. Let me just copy the style from one of the columns, so that I could easily apply it to the rows. By the way, we can hide columns for now, by clicking on this little eye icon in the selection pane. And now, let's use the rectangle tool again, and create our 12 rows. After all of the 12 rows will be ready, we'll have to group them and stretch them, as we did with the columns. Super great, now the rows and columns are ready, and we can group these two groups into one single group, for easier management. We can as well, add some transparency to all of the lines, to make them less visible, and adjust the line width too. Now let's make sure, that all of the rows and columns are grouped into a single group, and let's name it, grid, 18 by 12. Now you will be able to easily turn on or off your grid, in the selection pane. And now, if you would start placing some shapes, pictures or text on your slide, you would notice, that all of the shapes would be snapping to your custom grid. And this way, you would be able to create well-structured and balanced slide layouts. Just make sure, that smart guides are activated, in the PowerPoint view options. Okay, so now using our newly created grid, let's add these little cyan lines to our slide design. And for now, let me make all of these cyan lines a bit thicker, so that you can better see them. And now, we can easily snap this line to the right edge of the first column. And remember, you can hold down the control and shift keys, to quickly make a copy of any shape, and drag it in a straight line, left or right, or up and down. Let me finish inserting all of these lines, and I'll catch you in a bit. Alright, all of the lines are ready, and let's group them into a single group as well, for easier management.
Let's make all of the lines thinner as well. Okay, so now we are finished with the cyan lines, and now let's continue with inserting this beautiful portrait photo. Once again, the link for this photo is in the video description, thanks to unsplash.com. One extra step that I did, was to remove the photo background, you can use any free photo background remover to do that. Let's make sure, that the photo covers the whole slide height, and let's position the photo on the right side of the slide. Now let's start creating that awesome photo glow effect. To do that, let's first make a copy of this photo. And now let's add a maximum blur effect to the first photo. And now let's put the duplicated photo back to the top, on top of the blurred photo. And now, as you can see, we are getting this soft glowing photo effect. That's awesome. We can emphasize this glow effect even further, by adding a couple of soft cyan circles. The key to creating these soft circles, is to use a radial gradient, where the outside color is set to full transparency. And you have to add a maximum soft edges effect to the circle as well. Let's just make sure, that we send this soft circle to back, so that it is behind the photo. I've decided to duplicate the soft circle, and make the second one a bit smaller and brighter. I'm placing the second soft circle, near the hair, this way emphasizing the glow even more. Nice. Now let's continue with adding some text. We can turn on our custom grid, in the selection pane, to help us align all of the text boxes. And now, all that we'll have to do, is to insert a couple of text boxes, choose a font, font size, add some letter spacing, and add a cyan text shadow, to create a text glow effect. Please follow the video, and I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, all of the text boxes are ready, and now let me show you, how you can design that shiny button. Let's go to insert, shapes, and let's choose this special rectangle, that has cropped edges. Now just roughly draw a rectangle, later on we'll resize it according to our grid. Let's change the fill, and let's add an inside shadow. And now let's resize this button according to our grid. Let's make it 3 squares wide. And let's add some text to this button. Okay, now let's add a couple of glowing corners to our button. And to achieve this look, we'll have to add a usual rectangle with a cyan fill, and place it below our black rectangle.
Nice, the button is finished. Now let's create a couple of geometric shapes, to make our slide design a bit more interesting. Let's add a couple of circles, remove the fill, and add gradient lines. Awesome, and now let's insert a little glowing star. Finally, let me copy these remaining little text boxes from my original slide, and let's paste them into our slide to save some time. Congratulations my friend! Now you know, how you can create this amazing slide design, with a glowing photo effect, in PowerPoint. Feel free to download today's tutorial slides for absolutely free, all of the information is in the video description. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe, so that you don't miss my future videos. Thank you so much, and until next time.